Hi everyone! If you have struggled in the past with managing equation in Word, rightly including a bibliography in Google Docs, or you have been intimidated by LaTeX complex formatting, today's video is for you. I'm going to introduce you to Typist. This is a modern preparation system that combines the simplicity of writing something similar to Markdown code with the typesetting power that only LaTeX has. Typist is a new document preparation system designed specifically to address the pain points many of us face when creating professional documents with Word or Google Docs. Think as Typist as having the LaTeX typesetting quality without its steep learning curve, Word's accessibility but with better mathematical notation and reference management, and lighting fast compilation that refresh as you type. Unlike LaTeX, which was created in the 1980s, Typist was built from the ground up with modern workflows in mind. Here is why Typist is worth considering for your document needs. As you can see on my screen, you can have beautiful equation support with intuitive syntax. The bibliography is a breeze, it's like using LaTeX, and as you can see, you can just reference a document with an add tag and include your bibliography at the end of your document, which will print your bibliography in the final document. Here at the top of the page, you can see how we can define sections with an equal symbol followed by a space and the name of the section, but also how easy it is to have number items or bullet points here at the bottom with just a minus symbol or a dash symbol followed by a space. Figures and tables, they stay where you put them and they are also very easy to integrate in your document and you can also reference them. So as you can see here on the screen, we have an example where we have the head again to reference the figure, which is called glaciers. And then we have the importing the image here in the figure like function, which is called glacier.jpg. We're specifying the width of the figure, so that is not going to change. It's not that Word or Google Docs is going to mess it up. And then we have a caption that we can add to our figure and a tag to reference the figure called glaciers and that we can refer in the text later on. Now it's just showing you functions that you can use to work on your document locally, but also you can use their online tool to collaborate with other people, which has built-in version control capabilities. But if you don't want to use the online tool because it doesn't suit your need or you don't want to pay for extra features, you can always use Git and GitHub for version control of your document and you're going to be able to track changes, which you cannot do that as easily with a Word document or with a Google Doc. And finally, one thing that I love about uh, Typist is that it's blazing fast. You type and then the document gets updated in real time. As you can see here on my screen, this is just an example, but it's blazingly fast. So you will not have to compile the document and for wait for long compilation time as we have to do in LaTeX. And another great feature is that the syntax is much simpler than LaTeX while producing equally professional results. So how can you collaborate and install a typist? So there is the online editor that I'm showing here on my screen, which has no installation required, real-time collaboration similar to Google Docs or the shared online Word Docs, and you can easily share your documents with a link. I always prefer to work locally rather than using an online tool. And here you can use their client. So I'm just showing you here on the screen and it depends on your operative system, you can follow different installation in, in instructions. But it's super simple. So if you are using, for instance, macOS, which I'm using at the moment, you can just install it with Brew. And installation is very quick, and then you can start working locally on your document, make changes locally, and use your preferred IDE, which I use PyCharm, to change the uh, document. And here also they provide a very simple example in their client that you can get you started where you can see how you add equations, how you add tables, and how you add sections. The reason why I love to work on it locally is because Typist works beautifully with Git and GitHub, allowing for version control and collaborative workflows, just like with code. 
So let me show you very quickly how easy it is, it is to get started and how to write your first document. Uh, at the top here, at the beginning of your uh, typist document, we can set the paper size, the margin, we can set the text, font and size, uh, and then we can set, it, set the paragraph how we want it to be, if it want to be, for instance, justified. And then we can use the equal sign to add a section, we can use two um, equal sign to have an heading 2, a level 2, and then, as we have seen before, we can very easily add an image. Have you seen how clean it is? There is no need for a preamble, like we need in LaTeX, nor importing packages. Let me show you, for instance, an example with Google Docs. Here we can still add equations, but the process is much more clunky and is much easier to kind of then change the equation. It works, but it doesn't render as beautifully as in uh, typist. It's much harder to reference this equation in line later in the text. And if you want to write complex equation, this becomes like a pain. And a similar approach is in Word, so I'm not going to show you that, but it's going to be very difficult. As you can see in this document that I've opened here, Unless you kind of use very well these headings here, the formatting is con uh, consistency is manual. So then the layout starts breaking more easily. Figures are not always easy to align and position in the text. And for instance, here in uh, Google um, Docs, it's very hard to add captions and then reference them in the text. You can do it, but you need sometimes external packages, which are a bit annoying. In Typist, on the other end, we have already seen how we can add equations or figures very easily, but you can also uh, achieve very complex uh, layout of the document with a relatively simple code. And there is a very good documentation over there to kind of learn it and to familiarize. For instance, right now I'm showing you the getting started with um, uh, the tutorial, which is great. It's very easy to follow and you can get started with Typist just in 10 to 20 minutes. But I'm planning to release videos specifically on how to add figures, equations, because, uh, because if you really want to have to control everything, uh, then some uh, commands may become a little bit more complex, so I want to just break them down for you and explain how to use them. So let's summarize which are the pros and cons of using Typist versus Word, Google Docs, or LaTeX. So the first thing is that it's much easier to learn than LaTeX, and you have seen it. It has a fast compilation, and you can see the output straight as you type in. It is great for mathematics, bibliography, adding figures, and tables. It has a much cleaner and simpler to easy syntax than LaTeX. It is free and open source, and it is excellent for collaboration. Some negatives is that it's newer than LaTeX, so there are less packages and it has a smaller community. However, this community is growing rapidly. There is no direct export to Word or LaTeX, which could be a problem if you're trying to submit your scientific paper to a journal that does not accept typist. You can use Pandoc to solve this problem, however, sometimes the results are not great, so you might want to think about it. So after testing Typist, I think I'm going to definitely use it when I'm going to write a report, a document, or even my CV. However, I'm not entirely sure I'm ready to do the full switch from LaTeX to Typist for my scientific papers, because as I mentioned, some of the journals do not accept typist as a document. I hope this is going to change soon. That said, I'm watching typist community that is growing fast and I'm eager to see and I hopefully I can see some changes. And the beautiful of, uh, beauty of typist is that it's open source like LaTeX, so you can also contribute if you want to. So in conclusion, typist offers an excellent middle ground between a simple tool like Word or Google Docs which are not suited for academic writing because you cannot include variables, it's very difficult to manage the bibliography, but also you don't have to have all the complexity that LaTeX brings in. So consequently, if you've been looking for something new that is to prepare your document, reports or academic papers, I encourage you to give Typist a, 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 a try. I would love to hear your thoughts and are you going to be using Typist? Please let me know down in the comment section before. 
Uh, if you find this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'm actually going to release many other videos on Typist, so you can follow along together with me in this journey. In the next video, for instance, we are going to see how to install Typist on your computer. This channel, finally, I want to say that this channel is not supported. So all this work is possible with people like you that are supporting my channel. You can support this channel in different ways. One very simple way is to join here my channel on YouTube with YouTube membership. But you can also find other way to support my channel down in the video description below. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.